All right, so this is Excel. You can tell up at the top. Here's the table, which is on a form that's online. You can download it, fill it in, and don't forget the mass and diameter of the ball down here. Now, especially take a look at kinetic and potential energy. We'll select those, and from there, we can make a graph. Hit insert up there. Now we're gonna make a column graph, specifically this stacked column graph. Yeah, that one. And then it should look like this. If you included the titles, it should have everything on there. Let's just make it bigger. All right, now we need to take a look at the titles. So we can add the centered overlay title or above chart title, and we can name it energy on a roller coaster. There we go. Now we can put in the axis titles. The vertical axis, you want to rotate title usually. This vertical axis is for energy and uh, it's in joules. So there we go. Shows up right here on the left. Now let's do the horizontal. Title below. This is the roller coaster positions. And you got to see the picture, right? This is those seven spots, but you should have a picture to figure that out. And it pops up there at the bottom. Very nice. Now, let's see. We want to get this graph adjusted. We're going to try and print this so that it's all on one sheet of paper. And do that, you want to go to View and go to the page layout so you can see what it'll look like when it prints. We can move this table down, or the graph, sorry. And then take a look at your margins. You've got all this stuff going on. It shows you kind of a page format. You can see those different pages. Here we can slide this till it fits onto one page. There we go. Move it down a little bit so you can see everything else. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, change the size of these so that they all fit. You can adjust those. You right click, column width, make them just a little bit smaller. There we go. You can also play with the margins at the top if, that, if you needed some extra wiggle room, but whatever works. Let's see, a little bit more adjusting. And then put in a title and your name and date all up in the header. It's just some extra free space to write. I'm going to put in my name. I'll put in a title for what it is that I've got here. It's just a nice way to organize your paper. Energy on a roller coaster. And then over here, I'll put in the date. September 4th. Yep, that's it. All right, so now everything's set up. I've got it all selected, don't have anything weird, and all I have to do is say print. Oh, save it first. Now I can print. All right, here we go, and it's, it's good. Okay, that's it. Uh, only thing is you want to pay attention to the color of your graph, but otherwise you've got these empty pages over here. As long as they're grayed out, it won't print them, so you're saving paper, consolidating to one sheet. Have fun. And this is Kona. He's my puppy. You heard him in the background.